Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Triani and today we're going to have an exclusive look at Monster Reapers VR. Now this is in a game that's inspired by Luigi's Mansion. So I'm guessing it's kind of like, uh, you know, you're going around catching ghosts or killing ghosts, whatever, and collecting coins, unlocking stuff and finding chests. Um, I believe every level is completely different and you have to work your way up through floors. That's pretty much all I know right now because it's kind of a first impressions. So let's jump right in. <laughs> So I am a reaper and I have got a map, a health bar on the back of my hand, skeleton hand, hand grips. Uh, also it seems to be a sort of torch, is that a torch? And I've got a crossbow right now. I've got what appears to be snap turning. I'm, I feel really tall. Uh, there's also VNN in the game. Oh, these are magic, okay, so. So you can change between different magics. Vortex, vortex, medium, low, high. Okay. And then sort of like a light. Oops. That's about it. So I don't know if there's a way to turn off the VNN. I'm really tall though, so I'm pretty sure they're sent scaled, right? Let me just, okay. Well, this will be released on, for uh, early access on the 30th of October. I have to say it's pretty cool looking, it really is. Plays really well right now. So if I'm just super tall, I don't think I'm supposed to be this tall. But it's a very good looking game. I think it needs a little bit more sharpening though, so it's probably super sampling. Probably look better on in the index. The index doesn't say the index is supported, by the way. So, so it might not work with the index. Uh, well, I'm assuming it would work with the Index um, headset. Just the controllers probably won't work very well. Yeah, I think the graphics look pretty, pretty decent to be fair. I can see screen door effect a little bit on the uh, Rift S, but that's, that's very small. But like I said, a bit of um, super sampling would just sharpen this up a little bit because it's not super sharp. But you know, it does have this VNN. Wonder if I can do the lights here. So you use the vortex pretty much on anything to get some coins. You have one, you have one, you have one, you have one, you have one. Okay, so like after a while you can actually go to some setting screens. Brilliant. So I can change to smooth turning and I can turn off the VNN. Fantastic. That's what we're talking about. That's a million times better. That's all you need, really. So now you've got some capital, you can actually use, this is the shop, right? Oh, look at the weapons you can get, like, and stuff. Uh, you need to reach different floors, though, to get different weapons. Uh, you can upgrade the weapon you've got. You can also get different vortexes and light so you can upgrade that uh, eventually this is max level at the moment though and then other things as well and potions that's cool and uh, intelligent intellect sorry 
uh, magic crit chance upgrade and better loot upgrade oh, some pretty decent upgrades look at this though <laughs> it's like pretty cool pretty cool looking gun that it's just like a blunderbuster type thing so if I was the right flipping length there you go, I kind of upgraded it at least. And I upgraded it again. Okay, I can't upgrade it anymore. Oh wait, is that upgrade? Oh, I can upgrade the speed, so. You can say things like, Happy Halloween. I didn't, I didn't ask you anything, Alexa. Tell me a joke about witches. Do you want to hear some more? No, thank you, Alexa. So what is this then? Okay. It's a cauldron. There's a cauldron in here. I don't know what this does. I'm guessing that does something at some point. So you don't have to stick around and get as much loot as you possibly can. You can actually just like literally defeat those probably three and then, but, but you got to defeat three to move through these doors. So, but as you can see, I mean, this place is big enough to find ghosts. Okay. Okay, for instance, that's one. You definitely want to start shooting the shooters first because these guys are so slow. So the shooters, like if I, every time I've died, it's because of the uh, guys that shoot the flames. Like those guys. Aha. So I ri literally can go upstairs now. Oh, the, the flame guy, I didn't realize. I can go upstairs now and I can move to the next section. So let's just uh, let's just do that. I'm using smooth turning, yeah, just so I can stay forward, focusing on you guys. But yeah, now I can go through, for instance, any of the doors. Oh, there's a chest. So I got a buff. I can't see that because I think that's a little bit glitched. That's probably about the only bug I've seen. Something or another. So there's treasures to be found as well. Treasure rooms. That's pretty cool as well. Very cool with buffs in them. Okay, we're going to go into another area now. These ones are a lot quicker. These like vampire, fatty kind of like ones. Okay, so I just need to kill one ghost to move to the next level, for instance. And here we go, we've got three. Okay, no. So now I've done that, I really literally could just go through here and some more buffs. And this is health. Do I need health that much? No. Common buff. Okay, projectile bounce. Cool. Now, now these bounce off the walls. <laughs> just once by the looks of it, it's not multiple times. Uh, 
and health. I couldn't even afford the health if I wanted it there. That's cool. That's interesting. Fire one. They're not going to scare the crap out of you, that's for sure. These coins are humongous coins. <laughs> they make a little like moan as well when they die. God, I'm glad that went a flame one, it would have got me. I'm collecting some coins. It's kind of fun collecting the coins. Plus, like, the antagonists are quite good fun as well. Playing one? Ooh. Yeah, you're dead, dude. So, first impressions is this is not bad. It's pretty good. Only two developers made this game. Two very passionate developers made this game. I also noticed that it's also a dead end this. And you've got to be quite impressed with what they've done actually, considering there's just two of them. And I had a flying coin. So we go back on ourselves and look for the next and go through the next door, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna take that health. I'm sure if I go back in and out of the game and all that, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't be so tall. I'm so much better with that. I'm not a fan of that being in. What the hell? I got hit through the door though. Oh no, I probably should go back for that health now. There's uh, ones hidden in here as well, so if you change the light spell and uh, you wait for the. Well, you can just do this to look for it. There you go. Then you hit it and then it comes out. Like so. Well, we've got enough to move on. Uh oh. Don't like that sound. I think that's a boss just there. Oh my god, that's fine. Then. 
So there's bosses as well. You've got to be impressed. Okay, he's now shrunk. I don't know what's going on here, it's like it's spazzing out to me. Gotta make sure you get the light on him very well. Woo. Okay. No more boss, right? Music's still going, but well, it's kind of going now. No, it's not. There's another door, so maybe that's where I've got to go next. Hey, there's a portal to the next level. Common buff. Health. We could probably we do need health. Okay, so what did I get? Piercing projectile, so now that pierces. Nice, do need the health though. Uh, and he gave me half health though. So, yeah. The portal graphics there were a bit kind of poop, gonna be honest. But yeah, we're on floor two now. And we need to defeat three ghosts to move on. Oop, wrong one. No chance of reaching that. And we need to get down the stairs because there's going to be plenty of ghosts, monsters down here. Oh, it's also these vampire batty kind of ghosts. One that fires crap as well, but looks a bit. Keep your bazooka type thing to yourself. All right, so down the stairs, very dark. Um, coin doesn't want to come my way. Come on, coin. Okay, never mind. Guessing I didn't pick a very uh, good vortex there. That's probably why. Well, that one fires crap, so let's get rid of him. Fires fire at you. Guessing that the higher the level you go, the more difficult it becomes as well. So I've got enough to move on now to the next part. So we should probably go and check some stuff around. There's obviously a ghost hidden just there, so you could use the light to uh, bring that ghost out. Like that. Do I have to go down there for that, do I? Okay, there we go. That was pretty dark. Okay, so there is three doors to take again. I think it's precisionly generated. I'm not entirely sure, but it's, everything's a little bit different. It's definitely not, not kind of the same. I'm gonna grab a buff. Okay, that's the uh, piercing projectile one. I'm gonna go down the other side, see what's there. OK, 
Okay, this looks like we're gonna go on to the next part. one that's gonna fire crap at me. Oh, he hit me again. Oh god, where'd you go? <laughs> I was losing health, was I? Lots of coins in here. Lots of fire on. Thank God they're not. If they were both fiery ones, I would have been just like pincered then. I'm stuck in here. Oh, that's a fiery one there. Okay, so I could move on. Um, there's only one door to go through, so we'll go through that door. I could really do with some health. Okay, talking about, oh, I don't have health. I have an uncommon buff as well. Let's try an uncommon buff, got the money. Okay, well that's the uh, projectile bounce. Uncommon buff, why not? Uh, that is crit boost. So now I'm critting more than ever. That's cool. That was the only door in here, so we have to go back on ourselves. It seemed like I got a crit there. Okay, is it this door? I'm not sure, I'll be going back on myself. Oh, I'm definitely not going back on myself. Uh oh. God, that ain't one that fires crap. Oh, he did. Oh, and again. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, let's go to the outro. Well, there we have it. Uh, there is Monster Reaper's VR, where you get to play a Reaper who's capturing ghosts and other ghouls and monsters, I guess. Um, so my first impressions of it, the graphics were pretty damn good. It needed a little bit more sharpening for me, so super sampling would probably be fantastic. Worked very well on the Rift S. Didn't try any other headsets, but it only says it supports the Vive and the Rift, so I'm not sure what kind of support you'll get for the Index or the Cosmos or uh, other headsets like the Pimax. So I'm not entirely sure there on that notion. Um, didn't really find any bugs. It was uh, There was just a bit of writing at the bottom when I was getting a buff from one of the chests that was kind of all kind of clunked together and I couldn't read what it said. Um, it was, was it the one with that comes with a leaf or something? I think it was a leaf that popped up. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but other than that, it was completely faultless. For an early access game, that's pretty damn good. Um, and there's a massive roadmap. Um, watch the end of this to see that roadmap picture. Um, I'll pop it up and uh, you, you guys can uh, see, you guys and girls can see that um, roadmap image. 
Gameplay, I thought was uh, pretty good. It uh, reminds me Spectre was just released not long ago and it was similar to that, but Spectre was a ghost catching game and this is more of um, sort of like you killing ghosts and gaining coins, but it was kind of similar in a lot of respects. Both of the games seem really well polished and really quite good. If I'm gonna be honest with you, including this one, this one's really good. I do like what they did with the environment. I love what they did with the graphics. I kind of felt that it was very, um, very fantasy like and a spooky like like a real proper like mansion kind of cartoony kind of as well which is fantastic because it'll be fantastic for kids as well so yeah i actually uh i feel very confident about this early access game straight away especially as it's only two devs i'm very impressed that this is only two devs as well so yeah thumbs up from me uh recommended i'd say recommended it depends on the price though also i, I don't know the price i could have asked what the price was, but I didn't want to be rude <laughs> because it almost asked like, well, you know, what's your weight? You know, uh, you know, <laughs> are you male or female? If you're female, <laughs> can I have nudes? No. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to be rude. So I don't know what the price is uh, of this game and the price really is important to me. You know, if it's more than 12 15 pounds which is what 15 dollars or something like that you know i i kind of think that maybe they're pushing it especially for an early access game um if it's anything below that then the lower the better obviously if they bring out this game for seven pounds or something like ten dollars i think it's got a better chance of surviving um in a market at the moment where there's a lot of horror games coming out because obviously it's halloween so halloween's just around the corner um, and I do think this is pretty good and I think Spectre is pretty good as well so if you like Spectre, Spectre um, you're going you're to love this as well because this is pretty damn similar in a lot of respects um, and it's, it's just as fun it's really good um, so yeah if you like this video please give me a like and also subscribe because it goes straight to the heart hit the bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this and uh, yeah I love you a long time ciao